Hello and welcome to the video. So as you can see, there is a Maxton design box there. I'm currently doing a voiceover of what's going on. So basically there's a Maxton design box with the new RS looking spoiler for my Fiesta. So the video has been a bit sped up just so you can see it being unpackaged and you guys can see what it is we're working with. So it actually took me quite a while to get into the spoiler just because of how well it was packaged. It was covered in loads of bubble wrap and loads of different cardboard bits to make sure it was well protected and it didn't come damaged so that was a good job by Maxton, well done to them. Okay, I'm going to let past me take it back over and show you what is inside the box. Right, hopefully you guys can kind of see what we're working with a bit more now. This is the final, the final bit of packaging off. You can see it. Right, I'm just going to jump in with a quick voiceover. So essentially, um, nothing really happened after this video was recorded because I was umming and ahhing about what to do. I started by sanding it and because um, it came pre-primered but not, not really a thick enough layer and it's a bit patchy so and a bit rough. So I decided to sand it down and re-primer it again so it was ready to be painted. I was going to try and just um, spray can it myself but I was recommended a guy who lives really close to me who has a proper setup to spray it professionally and we had he got the panther black which has with a silver fleck in the paint so it's going to work a lot better and have a much 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 better finish and it also had a much thicker um, coating of lacquer so the video is now going to jump forward about a, a month or two to where I've actually had it all painted by him but then taking it back just to buff out a few drips in the lacquer and stuff so the next clip is going to be all painted up and, and lacquered but just buffing it out and making it look really good and then I'll show fitting it onto the car and, and getting on the car and showing you what the final product looks like. So as you can see in the video the spoiler is fully painted now just the last bits of sanding and being buffed. It is attached to the original spoiler. The original spoiler was taken off the car and it's attached like that just so we could have it a bit more stable when we're buffing it. Had to drill some holes in the original spoiler, put some bolts in, and then anywhere the new spoiler made contact with the original spoiler, uh, loads of mounting tape was put on to secure it extra tight. So once it was all done and all buffed out, I fitted the original spoiler with the newer spoiler attached back onto the car and just gave it a quick hose down and then it was pretty much done. It still needs um, another polishing really, like hand polishing to make it look really shiny and all, but the whole car needs a clean to be honest with you. So in the next clip is gonna be the final reveal. I hope you guys enjoy.